G'day. Hello there. I'm Ozzy Robbo. I'm English Jen. And welcome back to a new episode where we are back at the Magic Kingdom. Yeah, this is our final day at the Magic Kingdom and we're looking to get as much done as possible. Uh, we've got a few hours before we go for dinner later on. Um, yeah, we just want to see some of our favourites and hope you can join us. I'm bounding today, so I'm sure you can guess who. I've got a little bit of a tail thing going on here. <laughs> Come and see how much we get up to on a very busy day in the Magic Kingdom. So today is Monday the 26th. It is really hot, it's gonna get hotter quite earlier in the day today. Uh, it's gonna to get to 30 to 32 degrees again today. It's also the two days before the possible hurricane that we don't know whether it's gonna hit or not. So um, not sure if that's affecting the weather or not. It's just hot all the time, but um, yeah. Very hot day today. So Darren, what did the statue say to you? He went, oh, happy Halloween, oh, oh, I'm, I'm winning the pool. Just like that? Yeah, just like that. And then you woke up. <laughs> Hi, poo. Oh, I'm vibrating, I'm vibrating. Can't see it on there, but I am vibrating. Shall we try and give him a wave? Hi. Everyone, have a oh. happy Halloween. He even knows what time of year it is. So today is our last day at the Magic Kingdom. It's a very busy one for a Monday morning um, in September. And we've already had a parade. Uh, Rob's got something to eat. And essentially today is all about having a bit of a chilled day and just going on whatever takes our fancy. Um, we may even try something we've never been on before and hope to get some ni really nice shots from there. That might give you a clue. Um, but yeah, first, we're off into Adventureland and I want to, I want to meet some of my favourite birds. Splash Mountain, how was it for you? That was a good last one. Well, we might try and fit in another one later on and see how it goes. Uh, yeah, it was good. Uh, good splash down every time. Uh, nice to be on the other side and get wet, wetter. Um, yeah, it was a good ride. It was really, really nice. Even though it's a busy day, we got on there pretty quickly and we stacked. Show as you want. Black Mountain before it becomes Chiana. So Darren, you've got an, ortho an orthodox use for the uh, rain max? An orthodox. <laughs> I 
He was riding it like a boss. <laughs> How was it for you? Yeah, it was good. Uh, wet as always. Taking in the last of the ride before it disappears, just trying to absorb as much as we can about it. <laughs> and um, yeah, I just bought a hat as well because um, it's really hot today and I'm really wary of my face getting uh, burnt. So I decided to buy a hat, I'm not sure, and maybe go golfing later. Whether it styles, <laughs> whether it, uh, whether it uh, suits, suits me or not, but uh, yeah. I this like is the one it. I've been looking at all week, so well, the last two weeks almost, and uh, went for it. Shake your eyes. 35 bucks. So this is the first time I've sat on this side the whole vacation. Yeah, because you kept forcing me on that side. Yeah, and you never stopped, you got, never got stopped here, right here. You watch. Well, that's why it's called Karma, Darren. <laughs> stacks. We used the stack system for Genie Plus, so we booked before we came to the park this morning, then uh, an hour and 20, is it? One hour 20 has to go by. Two hours, can, yeah. Yeah, so. basically, around two hours has to go by, and you, it'll allow you to book your next one. So we stacked. So our next one we had stacked was uh, Big Thunder. So we're now ready to go on there. And then hopefully we'll be keep, keep that momentum going. <laughs> right, Darren, we just got off uh, Big Thunder Mountain. Ooh -wee. We did, and it was a rootin' tootin' wildest ride in the wilderness. Okay, what do you think? Uh, good. Um, sorry, we stood near the fountain. All they made me wonder. No. They made me want to pee real bad. <laughs> uh, how was the ride for you? It was actually good. This time, so if you remember from our earlier vlogs for this vacation, we got bashed around quite a lot on it and ran the same you did. sort of seats area. I didn't. Well, I'm not saying anything, but um, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it was a good ride. Good, good ride. Good reaction from the crowd. Yeah, the guy in front seemed to keep his hands on the uh, front bar the whole time. Yeah, quite a tight grip, but uh, yeah. Quite but a uh, good last ride on Big Thunder Mountain for the trip. Yeah, um, a sad one, but a good one. Where to now? Let's let's go into Frontierland and maybe go on something we've never been on before. I guess paddle boat. So after Big Thunder Mountain, we just went into uh, the shooting range real quickly. We didn't realize, but it's changed now to free. I guess it used to be some quarters or something. I can't remember how much we used to pay. But uh, now you get 35 shots for free, apparently, on uh, the go. Basically endless, <laughs> which is quite nice. Um, over very quickly, because you just get bored of it very quickly that way. I don't know why. But you literally can shoot anything, and if you miss it, you have to go. <laughs> So Darren, we just got out of the Hall of Presidents. Yeah. What did you think? Uh, really good AC, so that was a nice cool down. I actually was quite impressed. Uh, it, visually, it was really beautifully done with the paintings and the photograph sort of archive stuff. The composites were very well done, yes. Yeah, yeah uh, absolutely. Composites. Um, yeah, I really like that. And also I learned something as well. I also learned that I actually know more of the Presidents' names than I realised when it did the roll call at the end. There's a lot of names I recognised. No, I, I, I didn't, no. Like Garfield and different ones, yeah. Not all named after cartoon cats, but um, yeah, I, I I was quite surprised at myself for knowing certain ones, um, but also hearing some of the backstories to them. So yeah, it's worth doing. It's worth doing once. I wouldn't necessarily do it again. I do actually wonder if that's the same exact same presentation as in the other Hall of Presidents in the no, Epcot. No, that's a different show. I think completely. But they've got they've got animatronics like those ones, haven't they? Um, it's a, no, it's more of a history based like sort of uh, yeah like of section like, no like sections and yeah one thing i did notice though when the roll call and they're all stood there donald, someone's, someone's by themselves donald trump is stood there in the back and all the others are watching intently whoever's speaking and taking their turn 
he's the only one that spends it like doing this looking around the place like he's I actually couldn't I, I was looking for him because I couldn't work out why he was separated from all the other modern presidents and he was it was quite interesting seeing that the animatronics on him were very kind of like like as if he's lost and confused every <laughs> but yeah um, great AC interesting show you know we learned a bit yeah learned, I learned a lot um, but now I think we'll stick around Liberty Square and maybe jump on the uh, the ship on the steamboat or the paddle boat. Telling you, one look, <laughs> big Al. <laughs> so that was the longest distance in character interaction we've ever had, and one of our favourites because it's uh, Big Al and Liverlips from the Country Bear Jamboree. Um, they spotted us and started waving. Which was <laughs> That's Big Thunder Mountain poking up in the sky over there. The Indians named it that because of the sound the falls used to make when the big rains came. And the miners and prospectors because yeah. the get rich quick back to the lake showed up. And the name stuck because of the sound of blasting powder going off every few minutes. That's superstition phrase. It connects the big island to the little one. And if you follow the wilderness trail there, it'll lead you right up to the gates of Fort Langford. Where are we going? All the time, all the way around. <laughs> Where are we going? Straight to hell? Who knows? Straight to hell. Where are we going? The orbiter? Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Cool. For our last one of the uh, season. Well, Robert, what did you think of the Tangled Toilets? Alright. I thought they were the most splendid ones in the whole kingdom. Mostly. Like I said, five pounds, isn't it? Frying pans and wanted posters. Very decorative. Just what you need from a gent's toilet. Show the people how busy it is. How busy is it? I mean, we have normal car parks, but this seems like busier than the normal car parks. You ever been to Amsterdam? Reminds me of that. Reminds me of the bikes in Amsterdam. This is where they, they actually have attendants in there. Well, parking all them properly and telling people where to put their prams. Yes, well, they've had fights break out there, so I'm sure they need them. So Darren, we just got off Big Thunder, uh, no we didn't, no, we sorry Darren, we just, <laughs> sorry, Darren, we just got off uh, Seven Dwarves, Mine Train, Yeah. how was it for you? That was really good, we're in the first cat, the, the first uh, mine train thing, Yeah. swingy thing, um, and only one person in front of us, and yeah it was good, it was really good. Well only one person because her partner got asked to leave because he couldn't fit into the bar, Yeah. Um, which is kind of sad, but you know. It's like, but he, what he wanted to do was stick his leg on the other side of the bars and you can't do that. So he was an elderly gentleman, but, well, an elderly couple actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's just certain things they can't do for you. So. And you were quite sad about the little girl who was crying the whole time. Screaming. And with she her did mom. not want to go on there in the first place, and the mum forced her on. Don't be that parent, that's gross. That's so gross. But anyway, on to better things. We're going to try and grab something from the trading store down by um, Test Track that I want for the Christmas tree. It still hasn't come in in the UK, so I'm a bit kind of worried it won't come in. Well, do you think I should risk it? I'm going to, no, I'm going to risk that one. Good. Lovely shade of green. It's more aqua, turquoise. It's actually not bad. It's all right? Yeah. Very disco. Should go the other night. Buy it when you see it. So, Darren, what's the lesson of the day? A lesson for people who collect and buy at Disney. If you like it, you see it, you buy it. Otherwise, you have regrets. <laughs>
If you like it, then you better buy it straight away. If you like it, then you better buy it straight away. I could have actually, yeah, really, we've had like multiple chances to have got that from there. So you went looking for the Sanderson Sisters. Sanderson Sisters, Hocus Christmas Pocus, uh, light up Christmas ornament. And it was gone. It was a place with lots of plushes. But hey, you'd think I'd be more professional. You'd think I'd be like on it. I remember when the 50th anniversary first started, everyone was going after one particular Starbucks mug. This is the latest one for, for the Halloween period, which is Mickey. It came out today, so you'll probably be seeing this weeks and weeks and weeks after. It's actually, I actually don't mind it as a, like a mug, no, not a mug, a flask, a tumbler. It's actually quite nice, it's got like a Mickey Mouse. How much is it? Disney World. Well, that's the thing. Well, how much do you think it is? 25, 30? Fifty dollars. It's kind of expensive. Kinda. I do. I, I like it. I actually quite like the green shade, but no, not fifty dollars. I think you should. Oh, you think you? Okay, right, okay, viewers. You heard it here. He encouraged me. I think you should. His where his exact words. Three thirty bucks as well. I, that's very good. I actually quite like that. I think it might be in small kids. Right on. I don't want to miss my hair. Wow, you're going about me missing my hair. No. <laughs> no, it doesn't, doesn't even try. Oh no, no. <laughs> you stretch it a bit. I'm not stretching. And so that ends a very long, hot day. Yeah, but a very fun packs and filled day. Uh, we've managed to pack more in than we thought. Um, so you can, even on busy days, you can still do it. It's just picking and choosing your battles. And Darren is also ecstatically happy that he got the Sanderson sisters. Yeah, I got the Sanderson sisters, which actually is the one you wanted at the beginning of the holiday. Now, anyway, <laughs> I wasn't going to buy it. But yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for watching this trip. We've got one more episode coming up for Hollywood Studios. And then we'll have our trip home, hopefully, if Hurricane Ian is nice with us. We'll see. There may be more updates. <laughs> so, but yeah, uh, let us know how you get on with busy days in Magic Kingdom because they can be quite testing. Uh, leave your comments down below. We always love to read them. And thanks for watching and see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.